Hello everyone, my name is Kevin and I'll be your host for this episode of 4D Tutorials. For this project, we will be making this cool project called the Drum Pad. It is a simple drum playing program with a modern design. We will be using our latest product, the Gen 4 Micro LCD 70DT and our SOMO 2 audio module. Building this project is very easy. We just need the following materials. Let's start off by connecting the SOMO 2 audio module to our breadboard. Remember to review and check pin configurations and assignments on the SOMO 2 datasheet, which is available in our website. Now we connect the TX and the RX serial pins to our Gen 4 PA GPIO breakout board. The SOMO 2 audio module that will play the bass drum sample is connected to the GPIO 8 and 9 of the GPIO breakout board. All other drum samples are played by the second SOMO 2 module which is connected to the GPIO 1 and 2. Please check the schematic diagram for more information. The last step in building the project is loading the drum samples onto the SD cards. These drum sample audio files are together with this code. Do not forget to place the SD card to the correct SOMO2 audio modules. After building the project, we can now proceed to the code. Basically, what the program does is that it plays the drum samples immediately when pressed. And upon lifting your finger or if no touch activity is detected, all drum samples currently playing will stop. For the first part of the code, variables, libraries, and constants were called. In this project, we used a library named SOMO2 version 10.inc. Please note that the constant SOMO port must always start first before the inherit or include library declaration SOMO2 version 10.inc. On the main loop, initializations were done. Here we declare that we used PA2 PA3, PA5, and PA6 of the Jabla 16 processor and initialize a baud rate of 9600. Please review the Jabla 16 internal functions manual regarding the COM1 and COM3 pin assignments and other functions used in this project. Then, we set the initial volume to 27 of 30. Because the available library can handle only one SOMO2 module at a program, we manually sent command data bytes to the second SOMO2 audio module. In this command, we set the initial volume of the second SOMO2 to 15 of 30. On our repeat loop, the program awaits any touch activity, and upon pressing the specific drum instrument on the screen, it will play the specific track on the SD card. For the easier use of the drum pad project, the bass drum is automatically playing in the other SOMO2 module and the predefined tempo of the bass drum can also be selected. As stated earlier, the library can handle only one SOMO audio module at a time. That is why the bass drum function contains manually sending out serial command bytes specifically playing the bass drum beat sample. I hope you liked this project and inspired you to create your own projects using our latest Gen 4 Micro LCD products. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch out for more project videos. Thanks for watching.